instructions for use. You are now the owner of a U225 dermal injector. Thank you for your confidence in needle concept. Please follow these instructions for use. Assembling the equipment. Begin with the compressor. Carefully screw the end of the coiled cable onto the attachment and make sure it is properly in place. Plug the compressor into the power supply. There are two types of connections on the U225. The power supply. Plug straight in without twisting. You will see that the wire can only be plugged in in one direction. When disconnecting it from the power supply, simply pull the wire straight out, again without twisting it. The coiled cable relays compressed air from the compressor. Connect it to the injector by simply pushing the end in. Then attach the other end to the coiled cable on the compressor. There is an on-off switch on the compressor. Put it on. Your U225 is ready to go. Getting started. Open the Mies Bio catheter kit. You will find a needle attached to a catheter and also a transparent plastic guide. Pick up the U225 injector like this, using your right hand to hold the top part of the injector. Then, using your left hand, take the single-use transparent guide by the left edge and put it on the central shaft of the U225. Squeeze the needle holder between the thumb and index of your right hand. Take the needle in your left hand and carefully slot it onto the holder. The needle will slide in between the blue and transparent parts. Release your index finger and the needle is held in place. Now hold the U225 by the handle. Switch on the U225 by pressing once on the mode button. Unlock the security clip, press on the trigger button to position the tube in the clamp. Release the trigger and close the clip once the catheter is caught inside. Put the injector down and undo the plug at the very end of the tube to insert a previously prepared syringe. Make sure that the tube is tightly connected to avoid it falling out with the pressure of the syringe pump. Place the syringe on the metal holder with the measuring marks uppermost. The finger flanges of the syringe should touch the edge of the holder. The syringe pump connects to the piston. Lock in the syringe by flicking the pressure switch up the U225 is now connected and ready to use. Settings. To set the depth of the injection, turn the dial to determine the depth of the injection in millimetres. To control the amount of product used, a barograph indicator light on the other side of the injector will show the level of pressure By turning the dial to the right, increase the pressure until a green light appears. Try testing it over a sheet of sterile paper, being careful not to touch it with the needle. 
to check the size of the droplets of product coming out. To increase the size of the droplet, turn the dial clockwise until the next light appears. Each light corresponds to an intensity of pressure. You can see that the amount injected is greater when the pressure is increased. So, to reduce the amount used, you simply need to turn the dial anti-clockwise, thus reducing the pressure intensity on the syringe pump. Use There are two setting options. The continuous green light indicates manual mode. By regulating the trigger, the practitioner determines the amount of product used and the frequency. You can carry out continuous injections by keeping the trigger held down, or simply go one injection at a time. By pressing a second time on the mode button, you select automatic mode. The green light will flash. 16 different settings are available. By constantly clenching the trigger, you are in automatic mode, whatever the frequency speed. You can modify the rate by pressing on the frequency button. When the highest frequency is reached, if you press again on the frequency button, it will go back down to the lowest frequency and gradually work back up again each time you press, and so on. Guidance. Avoid pushing the U225 onto the skin, as by doing so you will be altering the injection depth. Gently place the transparent plastic guide on the skin. Angle it slightly during the injection to help the needle go into the skin. When you are using the highest frequency, reduce the syringe pump pressure to ensure tiny droplets of the product. Also use a light stroking motion from top to bottom to avoid slipping and scratching or scraping the skin. Disassembly and maintenance. Flick the pressure switch back to zero to unlock the syringe pump before removing the syringe. Open the security clip, press on the trigger to open the clamp and release the catheter. Remove the needle by pressing on the needle holder with your index finger. Take off the transparent plastic guide and throw it away. Clean the U225 regularly with disinfectant wipes and clean the injection head around and underneath. Your U225 is disinfected and ready to use again.